y'all welcome back to another vlog yes i'm wearing the same bonnet and shirt that y'all saw in the previous vlog if you were paying attention or have not watched that vlog yet this is basically a continuation of yesterday's vlog the one i just recently put out so currently right now i literally just woke up from my nap i've been sleeping all day i'm about to go um with my mom she's picking me up at three it's 2 30 now so i'm gonna like you know wash my face um or my scalp all that good stuff and um get dressed so we can go to home depot for her to pick up her air conditioner because she wanted me to help her bring in the house so we're gonna do that and then after that i'm gonna ask her can she take me to mcdonald's yes mcdonald's i know that's not the healthiest i'm supposed to be on the diet but i'm Flo decided that she wants to make her grand interest today so that's what I want. I just been eating bad since last week. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. Like, that's why I'm saying like when I start my period, it's just it takes completely over. And then I was kind of irritated. Also today, so remember I told you guys I was supposed to get my drug test done um, today. So um, that didn't happen because I'm um, flow starting, and I'm sure it's fine that you can take a drug test while on your period. You know the one that you take in a cup urine but i just feel like it's gross like i don't want nobody looking at my pee and it's red like that's just disgusting to me and unsanitary so i rescheduled it for next week on wednesday tomorrow i still gotta take my physical examination so that's still gonna happen tomorrow morning at nine also today my nursing school on council branch rejected my cpr certification card thing um so i have to contact the american heart association tomorrow morning and they send them an email i still have not heard anything back simply asking you know how can i obtain this card because when i took the class back in march of this year 2023 i never got the physical card i just got the certification card it basically says you pass the course and then on the paper like card it has the name of the instructor on the card with his license number and the certificate number and all that good stuff and so i made a copy of that scan it's a council branch and my school said rejection i was like oh all right <laughs> so it's said in the instructions that they want it to be copy front and back with a signature on it not my signature but the i guess the person who issued the card or whatever so of course i'm not gonna retake the whole course over because i passed it so i'm not about to do that i'm just gonna go up there on my off day this week um most likely friday and see if they can you know give me the card if i have to pay a fee that's fine i don't care but if i have to take this course over i'm gonna be really upset which doesn't make sense i just got this cpr card and it does not expire until march of 2025 so so that was bit of a setback for me i mean it's not due everything's not due to next friday so i still have like a week and a half to like you know get all my stuff turned in i'm still waiting on my blood test results that i took last week on tuesday so it's like everything is just annoying i'm probably mostly irritated because i'm on my cycle but i just i'm the type of person i like to get stuff done like as soon as possible like i don't like to be stressed and having stuff piled up on me like i just want to get it done you know i don't know if that's the capricorn in me but i just like to be organized to get shit done <laughs> so um that's pretty much it i just want to check in with y'all i usually don't check in this late in the day so i apologize you know usually we start the video in the mornings but like i said i've just been laying around and i've been sleeping off and on the past two days because that's what my cycle does to me and I'm, apparently I'm going to have to pop two more Tylenols because my head and my uterus TMI is like really giving me hell right now. And I almost told my mom I didn't want to, you know, go, but I feel bad because my sister is not home for whatever reason. So I got to help her, but it's okay. I mean, I haven't seen my mom in a bit of a while. So I was like, okay, fine. I'll help her. So let me start rambling and wash my face, brush my teeth, oil my scalp, put some clothes on, and then we could just, you know, head out the door. Oh, I like to like kind of lock it in, pull, and I'm so excited. Like, I'm just giving all. Oh. 
Y'all, so tell me why I'm so blue. So I just enrolled in another CPR training course, the one that I took for my security job, my school, of course rejected it and said that it wasn't from the American Association um, card that they wanted. It did have it on the card, but like they wanted to actually say it was from the American Heart Association, not from a different provider. So I have to come here to take this unfortunately you got to do the training all over again but i mean i have to get it done in order for me to start school so you gotta do what you gotta do so i'm gonna take it on friday let's see how that goes but other than that i did get my blood test result labs back so i uploaded that already to castle branch so now tomorrow i just gotta take my physical exam and then take this cpr course friday and then next week I'm going to try to go get my drug test done. And and then that'll be it. Like, that's literally everything. So, I, it's just like I'm down to four requirements. Three or four requirements now. But I want to get on here and show y'all that I'm enrolled. And hopefully, things will go well. And I'll be done. this bathroom lighting because i am close to the vanity mirror but anyway <laughs> so currently um y'all just saw me shower get ready all that good stuff so i'm about to quickly eat me um one of those jimmy dean steak bowls that i always be eating and then probably place my duncan pickup order i just want an iced coffee that's it and then be on my way to my school campus because i do have my physical exam today at 9 a.m no, 9.15 a.m. I have to be there at 9 a.m. They said around 15 minutes early because my appointment is at 9.15. So, I'm sorry if I sound nasally. I always get like that when I'm getting out the shower. I guess it's the the heat from the shower or something. I don't know. Anyway, yeah, so that's pretty much what I have planned this morning. And then, once I finish my physical exam, I'm going to, of course, come back home, change into my work clothes because I got to be at work at 3, unfortunately. I mean, don't get me wrong, y'all. I'm blessed to have a job, period. But it's like the closer it gets to me leaving this job next week, the more excited and less motivated I get going to work. So it's like, you know, let's wrap it up, as they say. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Just want to check in with y'all and tell y'all good morning. Also, thank you, whoever just recently subscribed to my channel. I am at currently 29 subscribers. Thank you so much for subscribing. Whatever made you subscribe or want to watch my video, just in general, thank you so much. Like, again, like I told y'all, that means so much to me. It really does, honestly. All right, let me stop yap, yapping, 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 and <laughs> make me something to eat, get dressed so I can be out the door on time. walking up to the wellness center building so I can take my physical exam. I actually got here like 30 minutes early. I thought that my appointment was at 9.15 and it's 9.30. They want us to arrive at 9.15 and I got here at 8.45. So I guess I'll just find somewhere to sit before my appointment. I'm pretty sure they got sitting areas not sure, but we're gonna find out, won't we? So, I'll check back in with y'all. I guess when I get to the doctor's office, I don't know. Hello, y'all. Hey, 
you guys i'm not gonna keep you long because i gotta now get ready for work um clearly i'm back home from the doctor's um office so long story short i have to go to another doctor's office because the doctor that i saw today at school she couldn't sign off my physical due to me needing an eye exam so of course that delayed me so i did schedule me an eye exam appointment for next thursday and then i also um scheduled another um physical exam with my own primary doctor that goes with my insurance and then i am attending a cpr training class that y'all saw me sign up for yesterday so i basically got all my appointments now booked that i need for nursing school in order for me to start classes so now um it's just me now have to attend these appointments it's a lot um back to back but you know it's what i need I only have a short time window because it's all due next Friday. So it's like I'm really trying to, you know, hurry up and get this council branch stuff um, submitted in so I can be done. Um, I just want to update with y'all with that real quick. Um, I don't want to tell too much of my business, but I do want to share with y'all that my first physical examination did not go well. The doctor, I'm not going to say she was brutal, but like what she said that we needed to be heard, like such as, you know, I'm overweight, I need to do more exercising and eating better, which I already known that. I mean, y'all, of course, know y'all see me with my, you know, my little workout weight loss journey or whatever that I record. Um, And then, you know, she was like, you know, when was the last time you saw a primary um, doctor? And I was like, I couldn't honestly remember within the last time I saw a primary doctor and then she was like when was the last time you saw a um what's it called a dentist and I was like it's been about maybe two or three years same thing with my eye exam my eye exam I remember the last time I saw my eye doctor and that was two years ago so everything was pretty much bad and you know I'm still a growing adult I know it's not an excuse but like you know I basically need to like take care of myself better and, and go to my you know my doctor visits and things like that so i do have a primary care provider i forgot that i have one on my um insurance card but i still have not seen that person so i'm going to see them next week so he or she can give me a physical and you know keep them as my doctor if i like this person because i am very particular as you should of who's your doctor you want to have a good relationship with that person so this is the person i want to have you know yearly checkups with so that's pretty much it because then she was like i don't know if she was being shady or ignorant or she may just been you know trying to be nice or whatever but she was like how you gonna be a nurse and you you know you're not staying on top of you know your nutrition and things like that i don't know how to really feel about it like i didn't really feel disrespected because in some part of it i pretty much agree because it's like how I'm going to be a future nurse if I can, you know, take care of myself better. But then at the same time, I kind of disagree disagree with it because it's like, you know, dang, you have to be that harsh and honest. Like, okay. Because I don't know if I'm the only one out here, but like, you know, I'm so used to my mother and my grandmother, you know, because those are the two parents that I grew up with my whole life. And I'm used to them taking care of everything. So it's like. You know, me being 25, actually still learning this new world, this new life, still growing and learning as a young adult. You know, it's a lot. You got to keep up with it. It really is. So, you know, it was a wake-up call when I was there. Like, you know, girl, you need to get back on your Zoom health-wise. Take care of yourself. So, you know, it's a lot of things I have to work on. But that's pretty much what I want to share with y'all. The visit was pretty much a waste of time. Like, I really went there for no reason. So... But I do appreciate my classmate, you know, recommending me about going there. But she did give me the school physical form for my primary care doctor to fill out. Um, and that's pretty much it. So I'm about to go make me a chicken salad because I'm like starving. I have to be at work at three. So I do have like an hour to charge my phone, relax before I leave out and change it to my work clothes. So I guess I'll check in with y'all when I get to work. <laughs> I'm pretty not sure but um yeah I do feel better though because I was really stressed out trying to get all this stuff in like did nobody tell me that entering nursing school is stressful as much as starting it because it's it's a lot like it was literally 30 requirements list that we have to all submit in within two weeks so this is what I signed up for still went traded for nothing 
Uh, at this point, Duncan needs to hire me. I went to Duncan again to get a coconut, raspberry, um, mango refresher, and it's pretty good. Good morning vlog. It is the next day, August 3rd. It is currently 11 a.m. Y'all saw that I just came from Walmart. Y'all see the uh, bags back here stacked up. I went to go pick up my Walmart grocery order because, girl, I was low on groceries. I couldn't go another week without groceries because I'm tired of spending my money out to eat. So I got some items, you know, that last me for maybe two or three weeks. I got some meal prep stuff that I'm going to cook once I get back to the house. I'm currently sitting in the car in front of my um, mom's house because my grandma um, was paying our neighbor. Well, my mom's neighbor, but he's also my neighbor, too, because we grew up in this neighborhood. But long story short, he's helping my mom put up the air conditioner that we had went to go pick up at Home Depot the other day. So my grandma's going in there just to make sure everything's in there correctly and to pay him because my mom was at work. So, yeah, I'm going to do like a little small mini Walmart grocery haul once I get to the house just to show the items that I bought. And then I'm also going to um, record me making the meal prep so I could take it to work tonight because I do work tonight. Um, I'm also happy I want to share with y'all. So remember that I was a bit upset about the whole CPR situation that I had to take my BLS um, course required for my nursing program because um they didn't accept the one that I already have because it was for my security um, job and it wasn't the American Heart Association. They, The nursing program wanted my CPR card from that provider, not the one that I got for security. So anyway, my once again, my nursing school classmate friend, he gave me the hookup. He gave me the information to the person that he went to. So now I go to them tomorrow morning at 9.30 a.m. to take the CPR class. It's like 30 minutes to an hour and it's $45 so I like that that's my speed and you get the card the same day so literally in and out because <laughs> the one that I originally was going to go to tomorrow morning at 10 it was much far of north on the north side of Chicago and it was almost $60 so I mean $45.60 to me that's not bad you know, I'm trying to use my coins wisely. Yes, I need it for school, but I'm also not trying to spend a bunch of money for no CPR card, but I don't have to. So this location is um, on the southwest side. Not southwest side, it's on the west side. Um, if you know where the White Sox Stadium is, it's like down the street from there. Um, and y'all know, I think I told y'all I worked at the White Sox last summer, so I'm familiar with that area. I know how to get there, so it just worked out. So I'm happy about it because this morning started off pretty bad for me. I was very stressed and upset. I done messed up my waffles this morning. Like, how can you mess up a waffle? Then my toaster just stopped working, so I threw that out. I have to now buy me another toaster. Like, it was just all bad this morning. And then once again, the nursing department, well, I'm not going to blame the nursing department. Let me say the Castle Branch website rejected my health insurance card again because they keep saying that they want me to scan my insurance card front and back. And I did that. So they asked me to resend it. And this time they put the instructions in bold. So I kind of felt a bit offended. Like, uh, you don't need to bold. I can read. I did what y'all asked me to. So if they reject it again, because I'm going to try to upload it again when I get back home. And if they don't accept it this time, then I'm just going to have to contact my nursing department and just tell them that this is my insurance card. Castle Branch is still not accepting it. What do I need to go moving forward? Because I'm trying to get all this stuff in, as y'all can see, because I'm getting over this Castle Branch stuff. Like, I wish somebody would have told me how stressful this is. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's just me. But it's really becoming stressful and annoying at this point. <laughs> like, every time I upload something, it's always something small that they want like they just so particular i mean i get it this is like valuable information but it doesn't even make sense so um i'm sorry y'all y'all saw me looking to the side i saw the, uh, my mom's neighbor he just left out of the house yeah so um it's just really frustrating and especially when we only have like a small amount of time to get this stuff in at that like I mean, well, I guess two weeks is enough to submit everything in, but it's like 30 requirements. I'm down to like four now, so I'm really almost done because after my getting my CPR card tomorrow, the only thing I have to do next 
is get my physical exam next week on Thursday, get my drug test on Wednesday, and my eye exam also Thursday next week. Because remember the doctor that I saw yesterday at my school, she said that she highly recommends I get an eye exam because my eye exam results that I took with her was really bad. I mean, I'm not surprised. I think I told y'all before, like my eyes had got worse. Especially so after my glasses broke. So it's like, I mean, quite naturally, your vision is going to get worse when you don't wear your glasses for a while. So, um, yeah, so it's just, it's a lot going on. <laughs> I'm just trying to get this stuff done so I don't have to worry about it. I can just start school all calm, like, knowing that all my, you know, materials are in. But my grandma's about to come back to the car, so I'll just check back in with y'all once I get in my kitchen at home. supposed to be saving money and look what I done bought. <laughs> I couldn't resist. I had a sweet tooth. So I got my usual the caramel ribbon crunch. A grande. Y'all I tore that caramel ribbon crunch up so good. Like do you hear me? I didn't care who was looking around like I was slurping literally the last bit of whipped cream and caramel that I could get at the bottom of that container. Like it was so ridiculous. I always keep saying that I need to save my money. And then what did I do? I spent five, almost six dollars on a grande caramel frappuccino. But I was craving it. I'm still on my, you know, menstrual. So when I really begin those sugar cravings, like I just be like, you know what? Forget it. I'm going to make the money back up. <laughs> but I seriously need to chill though on the spending because I really could have made my own frappuccino at home, honestly. It's nothing but milk whipped cream and caramel that's it now the crunch parts i don't know how to put that on there but <laughs> yeah so i'm currently at work as y'all can see obviously just bored ready to go it's currently 8 30 p.m i don't know why i'm doing this to my face i'm sorry <laughs> it's currently 8 30 p.m i don't get off work till 10 30 so it's just very quiet and boring and one more no three more work days before I leave because I remember I told y'all that it would be impossible for me to work here while in nursing school like I just can't see me doing it like nursing school is demanding and this job is very demanding eight hours shifts five days a week I wouldn't be able to do that in nursing school so you know I have to do what I have to do but in other ways I was gonna leave anyway I just feel like security is not really for me like, don't get me wrong, it was easy, quick money. Like, I was getting paid, not a whole bunch of money, but it was, like, weekly. I was getting paid literally every Thursday, so I will miss that. But other than that, you know, this is what it is. I have to do what I have to do. School will always be a number one priority for me. It has been ever since I even started college. Like, I will always put school first, period. Um, I do have a second job, my work-study job. So I return back today when school starts on the 21st and I'll just be working three days a week. So, yeah. <laughs> but let me um, get off of this phone. And by phone, yes, because I'm still filming on my phone. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I just want to check in with y'all. I'm sorry that I didn't get a chance to do a Walmart grocery haul because I, I had to literally rush and cook a meal prep, shower, and be out the door before I got, before I became late to work. So it was literally crunch time, so I had to hurry up. The meal prep was really good. All I made was, as y'all saw in the little clip, some white rice, some broccoli, and some um, jerk chicken. It was really good. I tore that thing up too in the cafeteria. <laughs> Like today, I, I really ate good. The only bad thing I ate today was the Nutter Butters. I didn't show y'all that at the Starbucks grind day. But most, for the most part today, um, in terms of my so-called day, I ate pretty good. Um, but you know, tomorrow's a new day. So, better choices. But yeah, let me go for real because there's people standing outside. And I do have a camera watching me. They do have cameras on us, so... I don't want to get in trouble. One thing, don't y'all get this feeling like when y'all know y'all about to leave a job, y'all just become so happier and more attentive. And it's like, 
Like, yeah, I'm about to leave and y'all don't even know yet. <laughs> like, that's the type of attitude I've been having. Like, I won't be speaking to nobody no more. I just been more to my lane. But, um, yeah, let me go for real. Because there's people watching me and, come, and about to come in. So I'll talk to y'all either when I get home or tomorrow. Unfortunately, I was not able to make it to my CPR class in time due to me showing up late and they do not accept late arrivals, which is understandable. Um, this is a professional setting. So, of course, I was very upset because I wasted my travel time getting there. But the only person I could be upset at is myself. So, good news is I, may, I was able to reschedule. So, I have to go tomorrow, Monday morning again at 9 30 this time i'm gonna have a ride my grandmother's gonna take me just to make sure i get there in time so yeah that day i was just really upset and i really feel like i, I hate to blame my period but i feel like my period has been a, a great big part of this because i was just in the mood the whole weekend when i just didn't want to vlog i didn't want to be bothered by anybody like i was basically like to myself in my room just eating snacks and watching Grey's anatomy so um and i was just feeling a bit stressed with um school stuff and school didn't even start yet like how am I stressed with this nursing school stuff and I didn't even start yet <laughs> like as of tomorrow school starts in two weeks so it's like it's almost crunch time so I'm almost done uploading my castle grants requirements the only thing that I have to add is my CPR card my health insurance my physical exam and my um drug test and that's it so, um, getting because that stuff, all the requirements are due on um, this upcoming Friday, August 11th. So, I'm really trying to, like, you know, hustle, get this stuff done. Um, next update my sister, she has been in the hospital pretty much all week. She is recovering. She had a um, strep throat and it was very severe to the point where her throat was, like, very swollen. So, of course, I couldn't film. So that was one of the reasons why I didn't film because for privacy reasons and you know it's family it was very personal so I did visit her yesterday in the children's hospital and like I said she's recovering she was laughing although she was still a bit of pain she was able to smile and laugh she still cannot eat solid foods yet or talk clearly she had to like use her hands to communicate with us but um I do I am going to visit her when I once I get off work today at 2 p.m. just to make sure you know that she's loved and um, you know just checking up on her proper care. Um, also, today is my last day at this job working officially. Remember, I was going to stay until Wednesday or Thursday, but I had a talk with my grandmother yesterday when we were leaving the hospital, and I told her like you know. I need to rest because school starts in two weeks and I don't want to continue working and then when I go to school I'm not getting no rest like I want to be able to recover and be you know ready to 
start nursing school on a fresh start without being so tired and already overwhelmed like i want to just start my first week you know pretty chilled um so it was a big decision it's not like i don't have a job because i think i shared with y'all that i do have a work study job i work at my school's finance department i've been working for them for almost three years like january next year will make it three years since i've been with them so i have a really good relationship with them I only work with them, of course, when school is in session. That's the only time I can work with them. So I'm glad that I'll be back there again. So it's not like I don't have a job. It's just what kind of sucks is I won't get my first check till September 15. So it will be a bit of a while. Um, so that's why I've been pretty much saving some of my money. Because I know from this job, I should be getting like two more checks. So it's just about, you know, just budgeting. I do have to pay for my CPR class tomorrow, which is $45. Um, I have to pay for my eyeglasses because I do get my glasses Thursday. I don't know how much that is yet. And then also I have to pay my school um, $375 in order for me to, to register my nursing classes. Um, by the way, I don't mind like sharing y'all some of my business. Like To me, that's not personal. Like It's just money. So... Um, yeah, because I did have like a small little balance that I had to pay off um, before I can enroll. So, um, and then that's pretty much it. Like, I'm just like, you know, spending my money on stuff that's very important that I have to get done for school. I don't, I really don't want to go school shopping yet. If I do, I may just, like I told y'all in the previous vlog, or it may have been this vlog, just to get small basic supplies. Because I still don't know, like, what bus supplies we need because we have not attended orientation yet. So, once we know, like, what uniform and what supplies and things like that that's not really like we'll start going to school supply shopping um, but um other than that that's the latest of what's going on like i said i barely vlogged friday i didn't vlog yesterday at all so today is my first day getting back on camera because i'm like i miss talking to y'all so and i do appreciate y'all's um comments on the previous um, vlog of me getting to nursing school Thank you so much for the congratulations. And then some of y'all even like commented. It gave me like tips on studying and who to like follow on YouTube and stuff. So I really do um, respect that and very thankful for y'all helping me. And those of you who are just now like finding my channel and it's still subscribing to me, thank you so much. Also, that has also been a huge smile on my face seeing that y'all enjoy watching my videos or whatever that just made y'all want to subscribe like thank you so much you don't realize how much it means to me like it just be the little thing I know I sound so dramatic but <laughs> I really do appreciate it so um yeah today I, it's not really much going on just me working and then going to the hospital to see my sister again of course i will not once again film that due to personal reasonings and privacy so i probably most likely won't check in with y'all until i get home or tomorrow morning i did show y'all in the um excuse me i did show y'all in the previous um clips of me studying um while i was at work of my pathology um, notes just trying to like get familiar with the terms and what we're gonna cover on our first exam thanks to my class maybe we did have a study session him and I on Friday I, I can't remember if I did record some of that I may have um, it went really good we were studying for like two hours like it felt like I was already in school um, he was very helpful he gave me so many advice and tips he told me about super nursing we did watch a couple of super nursing um videos and i already like him so he's definitely going to be one of the ones i'm going to use this semester um yeah so it's just me getting you know familiar with how this class is gonna go um because again he's the cohort ahead of me so he's a senior as of now and i'm a junior so it's kind of cool to have somebody who can like you know help you who's already been there and done that and I feel very blessed in that so yeah at work today I was making me my own quizlet cards I was highlighting I was doing my notes rewriting them and that y'all falling down <laughs> yeah so it's exciting but also you know 
I am a little nervous. I'm not gonna lie to y'all because I don't know what to expect. Like it's still very much new to me and I can tell that my grandma and my family, like they're very proud of me and stuff. My friends too, but especially my grandma the most. Like she just keeps bragging and talking about, oh, you're gonna be a nurse. You're the first nurse on our side of the family. Like she was just, you know, just proud and stuff like that. And um, it's nice to have, you know, just support, especially from your family. I feel like that means the most, like your family's on your side and stuff like that. So yeah, my family, they're very proud of me and I'm still in shock to this day, like, I'm here, like, wow. But um, I'm not gonna talk y'all heads off because it's already been 10 minutes of <laughs> me just blabbing. I just want to quickly get on here and update y'all. <clears throat> I want to quickly get on here and update y'all of what's been going on. I'm sorry if I'm like going like this because I'm a little cold. It has been like rainy and cool in Chicago the past two days, really the whole weekend. It's giving me fall, and I was just so happy this morning. It made, it put a smile on my face. I'm sorry, y'all. Somebody had walked past. I'm still trying to, like, get used to talking on the camera when people are nearby. I'm still a little camera shy. Um, but, yeah, the weather's giving very much fall, like, autumn. Like, I feel like we're in October right now, and I love it. Like, fall is my favorite season. Like, currently, it's, like, 67 outside, and it's windy leaves blowing it's gloomy outside like I love it this is when I thrive I'm not a summer person nor winter person and I was born in the winter I was born in January so like fall I love it and Dunkin Donuts probably Starbucks too but I know Dunkin Donuts for sure they're bringing back their pumpkin spice products um I think it's here August 18th or 17th something like that and I'm very excited like this is my favorite time of the year. Like summer is going away, all the bugs, heat, all of that is going away. Like, I just love it. But yeah, um, that's pretty much it. Like I said, I'm gonna stop talking. <laughs> I'll check back in with y'all. Now me trying to think what today is. Lord, have mercy. These days just be going by so fast, y'all. Don't mind it. <laughs> My mind right now. Um, and I'm sorry about the lighting. Every time I'm in this bathroom, it makes me look so much lighter. But um, anywho, y'all see me. I'm well. If y'all can tell, if not, I'm basically getting ready so I can go to my eyeglass appointment. Remember, I told y'all that I was going to get an eye exam because the doctor at my school, um, she said that. She highly recommends I get an eye exam before I see a physician, which I was going to do anyway, because remember I told y'all I'm like blind, not literally blind, but like I can't see, like my vision got really worse. So, and before I start school, Monday after next, I need my glasses so I can be able to see, you know, the board, like, duh. So, <laughs> so my appointment is at 10 a.m. It's currently 9.04, so I'm about to wash my face, brush my teeth, spray it on my scalp, take um, this bonnet off. And then, um, I guess meet y'all at America's Best. Because <laughs> I already had a breakfast. I didn't feel me doing that. Um, I had some high-protein oatmeal, banana nut flavor. It was so good. Always my go-to. I drizzled honey over it with cinnamon. Because I'm trying to get back to my weight loss journey once again. I mean, we've all been here, done that. We'll, you know, mess up, start over. It's kind of off and on with me right now. Um... But today I was like, okay, it's a brand new day. Try to start over. So I started the day off with oatmeal and some ginger lemon tea because I've been having a bit of digestion issues yesterday. So I drank a cup of that and my stomach already is feeling better. It's in and the tea is able to soothe it. Almost done with my castle branch requirements. I just have to, like I said, take my eye exam today. And after my eye exam, I'm going to go to my primary doctor next uh, at 2:30 today. Then um, before I see my primary doctor, I am going to stop at a walk-in clinic where I can take my drug test. 
Um, I could get it done at my um, site that I'm going to to see my doctor, but the lady on the phone, she highly recommend that I go to the one that's down the street from them because it's walk in. You don't have to like make no appointment or anything like that. You just have to get it done before five o'clock. So me and my grandma decided that we would just go there first before she take me to my 2.30 doctor's appointment so I can get my physical done. And then once I get all of once I get all of those things done, then I'll be done with all of my requirements. Last thing I will have to do is um, upload everything, of course, on Castle Breast because it's due tomorrow um, at the end of the day. So I'm really trying to like get these four little things done. Oh, I don't know if I mentioned to y'all on Castle Branch, my school, um, they said that they want me to retake one of my hepatitis um, vaccines. I can't remember which one it is. I, I'm currently filming y'all on my phone, so it's not like I can, like, go to Castle Branch and look at it, but it says something about I have to, like, retake a second vaccine or something. Anyway, I'm going to show it to the doctor who I see today so they can take a look at it because I'm like, why do I have to retake it? It was kind of weird, but like I said, I'm going to my doctor look at it because they were the ones who ones that I had went to to get my blood work done, so it's all under their system. That's why I'm going to them about it. So, um, yeah, it's always a little minor setback every time when I think I'm done with something, but I'm basically at the finish line. Just, it's just about, you know, getting it done and uploading the rest of it. And then that's pretty much it, what I got to do today. Um, tomorrow, like I said, everything's due tomorrow. Then me and my classmate, we're going to do a study session tomorrow evening. We're, we were supposed to meet up on Monday. Yeah, Monday on Google Meet, but my sister was in the hospital. Now, um, she got discharged same day, Monday, because <laughs> um, originally I thought I was gonna have to spend the night, so I told him, can we reschedule? My sister has tonsillitis, blah, 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 mono. And he was like, yeah, no problem. So, um, she's um, getting better. She's able to move more. She's able to eat more solid foods. The IV is gonna always get the job done. I mean, <laughs> period, like, it's gonna get the job done. Because she was very um, over dehydrated and, you know, her lymph nodes on her throat was very swollen. So, she couldn't, like, talk as much or eat. So, it was really bad. She was in the hospital, I think, for a good four to five days. So, she's improving. I'm checking her every day. Um, I haven't talked to her this morning yet, but I will on my way to my eye exam just to make sure, you know, she's good and stuff. Because she was trying to go back to work and me and my family we were like, hold up. You just got the hospital. Slow down, chick. <laughs> That's one thing me and my sister have in common. Like, we are money go-getters. Like, we don't care if we say, like, we're going to show up to work, period, to get our coins. But I had to tell her, because, you know, she's still young. She's going to be 18 in two weeks. So I told her, like, you know, your health is more important than money. The money is going to be, like, you're going to get your money. But your health, like, if you're down, you're not going to be able to get your money. Like, the sooner you can get yourself well, the sooner you can go back to work. Like... I, I told her the truth. I'm like, these jobs, as we, as y'all know, these jobs, they do not give a F about you. Like, they will replace you with a snap of a finger. So, girl, you could be on your deathbed. Not wishing that, but you could be on your deathbed. They would not care. Like, I mean, they'll be like, oh, we're sorry. But then, in about a day or two, they're going to put you, I mean, they're going to replace you with somebody else. So, that's so I'm like, you know, I understand, like, your birthday coming up and stuff. You trying to save your money, but... And she starts college herself, her first semester of college. Um, not in August, but she starts in September. And it's like you want to be well enough so you can be able to start school on the 5th. So, you know, I have to be a big sister to get her to pep talk. You know, if you were older sibling, you know. So, um, and she got the message of what I was saying. Because it's like, girl, you need to get your health um, back normal. Okay, guys, that's my sign that I need to go because... Now my phone falling off the tripod. This is too much. <laughs> All right, let me get off of here. I just want to quickly just tell y'all what I had planned for today, why I was MIA the past couple of days, why this vlog is just so crappy. Like, literally, it seemed like I'm just throwing stuff together. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I'm trying, y'all. It's just, it's been a rough couple of days. Like I said, with my sister being in the hospital, me trying to get everything in for a nursing school, this couch of and stuff, and then... Oh, I do got something to do tomorrow besides me studying. I forgot. I'm going to Walmart. Duh. When am I not in Walmart at this point? <laughs> but I'm not going there for groceries. I mean, 
it's a little grocery items I need, but I'm really going there to get some school supplies, um, some home products, you know, and then to get Rocco and a bone because his birthday is tomorrow. So no, not tomorrow. It's Friday. I'm thinking today's Thursday. No, I'm going to Walmart Friday. And yes, Friday is also Rocco's birthday. He was born August 12th, 2019. My baby is going to be four. I got him when he was one. So, um, a little emotional. He's not old. Well, being four, I don't think he's old for a dog, but he's kind of getting up there. So, baby's growing up. So, yeah, I'm going there to um, also get him a bone and probably a new toy. Nine times out of ten, I'm going to get him the toy because I, I like to spoil my animals. But, yeah, so I do got some stuff to show y'all this week. What am I talking about? Y'all see? I'm telling y'all, like, my, my mind is just so scattered <laughs> at this point. Um, yeah, so um, let me get off of here. And stop being chatty before I be like to my appointment and then I'll check back in with y'all, I guess, when I get to America this. Okay, y'all, I'm at Walmart and it's so hard trying to pick out my god niece a gift for her birthday. Her birthday is today, but I don't see her mother until Tuesday. And today's Friday, so I'm just trying to decide which toy to get her. I'm stuck between the Game Boy or this little thingy here. This phone one is cute too, but she already has a toy phone, so I'm not trying to buy her the same thing. I also have a little cute remote, like this is so cute. it is august 13th sunday i believe the last time i talked to y'all i was getting my physical i'm not really sure it's i'm not gonna lie to y'all it's been like maybe two or three days since i last recorded so we're at the ending part of the vlog and i apologize once again <laughs> this vlog has just been all over the place it's just so crappy i so apologize i just hang on tight like i promise you it's gonna get better as the weeks progress i promise um, this vlog, I really didn't show or do too much. It was really me being, once again, like I stated before, busy with my sister, being in and out of the hospital, me finally getting my council branch stuff completed. So as of Friday, which was the 11th, I finally finished all of my council branch stuff. Thank God. <laughs> Cause that was like so freaking stressful. Like maybe it's just me. I don't know. Comment down below if you had went through the struggles of Castle Ranch like I did because girl that was a lot we had to submit in 30 requirements plus a drug test like child that was a lot <laughs> and not to mention our school only gave us less than two weeks to get it all done because they were technically behind not trying to put them on blast on here but they was like late trying to get us set up so that's the story within itself but it's done I can finally move on now and attend my orientation this upcoming week so of course I'm going to start a new vlog tomorrow and that will follow up with the um orientation that's not until friday i've heard but um excuse me i'm gonna double check with my nurse department just to make sure that it's this friday because one of my classmates told me because i didn't get an email they said they sent out an email and i'm like i've always gotten their emails and i never got that the email that i did get was the registration uh, pin that we need to use to enroll in our classes and then I had got an email saying that there is an orientation but they put last year's date on it it was like last year August so I don't know if it's that same day I don't know so I'm gonna go to email them tomorrow just to double check and make sure that I have the dates correct um I'm not gonna email them today it's Sunday like nobody's in the office on Sunday so I'm gonna email them tomorrow morning when I wake up just to you know make sure and have clarification of when the orientation date is and um what time do I need to be there? So that's the next thing on the list is the orientation. Now that I have completed my council branch. And then after orientation, of course, is the first day of school, which is the Monday after next. So basically, well, we could just say it's next week on Monday. My first day of class. So everything is coming together. So it's making me so nervous that, you know, this is it. Like, my journey is going to begin literally less than seven days. Like, it's so crazy to me still. Like, wow, I'm really here now. 
and I'm a little nervous, like I said, because I don't know to what to expect. I don't know if this is really going to be for me or not. Like, I mean, of course, I know this is for me. I would never have gotten this far, but I feel like when you get to a nursing school, it really tests you to see, like, do you really have the skills and mindset for this profession? So it's going to be cool in terms of, you know, a challenge. I always say I love to have a challenge and we're gonna see how it goes so um i did study with my i didn't film that i studied yesterday with my classmate but remember the one who's a cohort ahead of me that's a senior um we went over the first exam study guide and he did test me and i he said to him he said i did good as a first timer so in our school you cannot get nothing lower than a 78 a 78 is passing in our um, nursing program. So on the exam, I had got a 74, which is not uh, obviously not good, that's not passing, but he said for somebody who never like took the class before and stuff like that, he said it was actually really good. And the questions that I had wrong were the easy questions. I passed all the hard questions. The hard questions I got right. The easy ones I didn't, which was, <sighs> it was so weird. <laughs> I don't know, like sometimes I always second guess myself and I really need to stop doing that, especially since I'm in nursing school now because you don't got time to be second guessing and getting stuff wrong. So um, I am planning on either today or tomorrow to go over Quizlet again and the ones that I got incorrect so I can review that. And then he's so nice. He sent me the second exam study guide. So we're gonna review that tomorrow together. He's just, he's so amazing. <laughs> So um, I really do appreciate him helping me. So like, of course, when I take patho, which I am this semester, that's one of my classes, um, my first semester, I'm gonna kind of be ahead of some students cause I'm already reviewing the material. I said I was gonna start reviewing dosage calculations too. I kind of started doing practice questions of that too through TikTok. There's some girl I found on TikTok and she posts like daily dosage calculation problems. So, I mean, social media in a way is, negative but it's also positive when it comes to like edu the educational side of it so yeah i'm just trying to get ahead in the game trying to familiarize with some of these tools so when you know i'm in lecture i won't be lost and it won't be like my first time learning and stuff so you know that's pretty much what i've been doing like i just been keeping myself busy i've been on my zoom and by zoom i started getting up at 4 or 5 a.m now on my own starting my day early trying to we run my body clock now that I'm no longer working. I forgot to tell y'all I quit my security job. Um, they had texted me just a few minutes ago before I got on here and they were like, are you still coming in? I said, I quit. That's what I text back. I said, I quit. I no longer work there anymore. I have returned back to school. Thank you for the opportunity. Kept it short, sweet and simple, just like that. So, you know, I mean, I kind of feel bad in a way because I really should have gave them more notice in advance, but, um, like I told y'all, nursing, not just nursing, school period is gonna always come first for me. And if I need to let go of something so I can continue to succeed successfully in my academics, I'm going to do that. And it's not like I don't have a job. I have um, my office job at school and I start that um, next Wednesday. I was supposed to start this Wednesday, but I told her I needed, you know, more days off because I'm trying to like, you know, rest and, um, you know, get my mindset ready for school. Um, and she understood that like she's super sweet I love my supervisor at the school so yeah I don't I have no regrets leaving my security job like I said I told y'all I was gonna leave them and it's just it's just not for me like I say this with a lot of retail jobs I just feel like I'm the type of person that's just not meant for retail like I just don't like retail I mean it's I mean it's it's easy to get a bag with retail but it's like it's just some people just be rude and not saying nursing is better because you're going to meet rude patients as well but it's just let's just say short and simple retail is not for me and i just i can't <laughs> so but i i did you know professionally say thank you for the opportunity because you know i because of them i had a job over the summer i was able to make my money take care of my bills and you know things like that so i was definitely grateful because during that time in the beginning of the year when i got hired there I was really struggling financially, so it did help me in a way. But now it's like, now that school is about to start next week, I'm in school mode. Like, I could get a lesson right now. So, um, I did talk to God. I was like, forgive me, God. Um, I didn't mean to leave them like that, but 
you know, I have to do what I have to do. This is important. Yeah, yeah. So, um, they'll find somebody else. <laughs> like, like most of these jobs, they'd be so quick to replace you anyway. And before I even quit, I was already seeing a bunch of new people, and they were younger than me. So, yeah, they'll be fine. So, <laughs> Um, that's the latest update. Um, I'm gonna get off of here. I was watching Grey's Anatomy and I was journaling. Um, before that, I had um, did a low, lower body YouTube workout video, 30 minutes. Then I walked my dog for 45 minutes. So, your girl been on her Zoom, like I said. Like, I'm trying to get back being my old self, the old Cheyenne, which is being productive, getting up early, starting her day knock stuff off her to-do list you know just be me again because like i told y'all lately i have been in the funk mainly because i was on my period but no even when i'm not on my period like sometimes i just i don't know you know like when you just get in in a certain mood when you just don't want to be bothered by nobody you don't want to do nothing you just want to just sit and lay around so eventually i decided yesterday that i'm just tired of that so I cleaned up my whole um, small little apartment space down here yesterday. I mopped, I swept, I organized, washed dishes. I did all of that. I just have to clean my um, computer desk off to get that situated for school because that's my little study area. And then straighten up my room. That's pretty much it. So I've just been, you know, freshening up the place. So when the first week of school comes next week, I don't have to do too much. I could just have a calm, you know, relaxing week of just, you know, getting settled with nursing school and, you know, start off the semester off a good positive note. I have not gone school supply shopping yet. I was in Walmart the other day. I think I filmed that, but I decided to wait until I know what they want us to get um, when I attend the orientation. And that's pretty much it. I know I have to show y'all my school schedule. I keep forgetting to show y'all that. I don't know why. Um, it's because I'm not enrolled in the classes yet. I mean, I have the list. I mean, I guess I could show y'all the list of classes I'm taking. But um, I do plan to enroll in them this Thursday when I get my last check from security. And I told my friend, I said, let them not pay me because I will definitely be taking it to HR. Like, regardless they have to pay you so because i i did work um 16 hours before i quit well i'm not gonna say quit i left like i'm i'm just gonna be honest i left i did not quit so um they they still have to pay me those 16 hours because part of that is going to go to the money that i have saved so i can pay for my um classes and yeah that's pretty much it so that's all i really have to update y'all on Rocco's birthday was yesterday. He's four now. I bought him a porcupine um, toy from Walmart. It was so adorable. Um, the, as his birthday gift, my sister's gonna get him a bone. Like a dog like Rocco, who's always such a good boy, deserves to be celebrated. And he's my first dog, so. Cause I don't know if I mentioned it on here. I used to be a um, cat owner for years, so. Am I still a cat lover? Yes, but I'm mostly a dog lover now. Like, he really changed that for me. So, um, <laughs> yeah, so that's pretty much it. Um, thank y'all for watching, of course, supporting, subscribing, liking, commenting. I'm very much appreciative of all of that. And I'm so excited to start this nursing school journey next week with you all and take you all along with me. Um, some of you who are watching me i know are nursing students or nurses already and y'all have been sweet as well um subscribing to me and commenting giving me tips and if you have any more tips i mean feel free to comment down below like i'll take any help like anything is useful and who knows you could be helping somebody else too who's watching my videos so i mean i feel like nursing is one big happy family like we're all here to help each other out regardless of what age so very much appreciate it. Look out for my next one and talk to y'all soon.